Hi friends, today we're gonna do a printmaking project using things from nature, leaves and flowers. Uh, this is a really easy project and you can find everything you need in the yard uh, to do this project. So I went out into my garden and I picked some flowers, different kinds of flowers and some different size leaves. And I'm gonna use those to make my art project. I'm gonna start with this fern. And because it's got a lot of little tiny leaves, instead of trying to paint each and every leaf, I'm actually gonna paint over the top of the fern. So I'm gonna use my big brush to do this so I can cover a lot of the fern in one stroke. So I'm gonna lay my um, leaf on the table and then I'm gonna just paint over it with my brush. I'm gonna go over it a couple of times just to make sure that it picks up the negative space. So when I pick up my fern, I set that aside, you can see it picked up the shape of the fern, and that's what you see in the white, and that's called a negative space. The white part is the negative space. Now the flowers, I'm actually gonna dip in the paint and then uh, print directly on the paper. So I'm gonna take my flowers, and because there's a lot of flowers on there, I'm gonna just gently try to put each little flower in a little bit of paint. Okay, and then I'm gonna dab it on my picture. And I'm gonna kinda go all the way around my paper. Okay, I think I really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna actually dip it in a little bit of yellow paint to mix with the blue. And I'm gonna print again. And since yellow and blue make green in some places where the flowers are mixing together, I've created a little bit of green in there. Now I have a different type of flower. This flower is a little more round and it just has one flower head. So I'm gonna see how that prints. So again, I'm gonna dip it in my paint. And I'm gonna make sure that all a little bit of paint gets on all of the leaves. And I dip it. And again, just like I did with the other one, go all the way around the paper. Now I print it with my other flower. And it comes out a little tiny bit different than the one that had a lot of different petals on it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to take one of the leaves <clears throat> and I'm actually going to paint on the back because that's where the um, veins of the leaf are. And so when I go to print, it'll be much easier to see those. I'm going to use my little brush for that. I'm going to put a little bit of paint on the back of my leaf. cover the whole thing. <clears throat> Oops. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of blue there so that my leaf has a couple of different colors on it instead of just one. So I'm gonna overlap it with the yellow. And now I'm gonna take my leaf, I'm gonna lay it on my paper, and since I've already got a lot of print on there from uh, the flowers, I'm going to do some overlapping with my leaf on top of where I printed the flowers. And I'm gonna pat it a little bit while it's down to transfer the paint 
from the back of the leaf onto the paper. I'm going to pull it up. And as you can see, I'm just able to get a print from the leaf. And I'm going to try, I still have a little bit of paint on there, so I'm going to move it up here, different place on my paper, lay it down flat, and again, I'm going to pat the leaf gently, because leaves are fragile, so if you pat it too hard, it might rip. So I'm just going to pat it all the way around, and then I'm going to lift it up. And I only got a little bit that time. I probably should have put some more paint on it. But as you can see, I got a, was able to transfer a little bit of the texture. All right, now I'm going to use my little leaf. And I'm going to do the little leaf the same way I did the fern. So I'm actually going to use my big brush. And I'm going to wash that out. So I'm going to go back and forth in my water. Scrape it on the sides. And I'm going to dab it on my napkin. <clears throat> and now I'm going to get some red paint and I'm going to hold on to the stem of my leaf so it doesn't move and then just like I did with the fern I'm going to paint over the top of it and just like with the fern I should have the negative shape of the leaf on my paper Okay, so as you can see, I got the outline of the leaf in that shows in the white. And I think I'm gonna do one more of those. My paper is pretty well covered, but I wanna do one more of these little leaves and I'm gonna change colors here. Again, I'm gonna hold the stem and then I'm gonna paint over the leaf so that I get the shape of the leaf as a negatives. And because I painted on top of something that was already on my paper, the negative shape of the leaf came out in red. All right, so friends, I hope you enjoy doing this printmaking with nature. And I look forward to seeing your pictures when you send them to Miss Emery. I love you all very much. I miss you and um, have fun creating. Bye.